So hey guys, I'm up here. Obviously, you won't, you won't see my face here in a second, but um, yeah, here we have Batman and uh, Riddler and Penguin, and uh, quite possibly a few other of these characters showing up for this new Fox show on right now from DC Comics and well, Fox and probably Warner Brothers um, for the new show Gotham. This is my reaction video to episode one for Gotham. Um, so basically, you know, the whole point of the show, you guys, is um, Commissioner Gordon is a young man. He, you know, just basically got into the police force as a commissioner, and uh, well, probably he's more more so a detective in this this uh, series. But we get to see him in his earlier years, and um, you know, obviously we get to see the death of the Wayne parents, and you know, kind of how that affected Bruce Wayne as a young boy, and kind of that how that kind of you know really kind of impacted him as a commissioner really early on in his career. And so we also get to see him kind of learn Gotham City's lifestyle and just kind of how dangerous of a city it is and how crime infested it is and um, kind of how there's organized crime. And, you know, the Falcone family who's kind of the mafia of Gotham City kind of runs everything. And we also get to see early carnations of some of the other characters you saw on the shirt earlier, like Penguin and Riddler and... Um, joker more than likely and uh you know we could see a young poison ivy a young cat woman uh there's a reason why i'm wearing that shirt, the shirt today because there's almost every character well most of the characters on the shirt here um are going to be represented in the show in some way shape or form um probably not joker though because of the success of heath ledger as the character but once again i could be completely wrong he could show up later on in the show at some point so um I basically just describe what the show basically is about. You know, Commissioner, Commissioner Gordon's a young man. This is before Batman is around in Gotham City. Uh, Bruce Wayne's still around. He's a young boy. And um, the parents are gone. So that part's already um, has happened. And uh, we get to see Commissioner Gordon, you know, in this pre-Batman era of Gotham City pretty much. So in this first episode, guys, like I said, he, he, we get to see Commissioner Gordon uh, really learn kind of just how dangerous the city is, kind of this job that he's gotten into, where he's located himself as both a detective and a commissioner. And um, there's a, uh, he has a partner that he's working with on these cases, specifically with the Wayne Parent uh, murder case. And um, we kind of just get to see kind of the, you know, it's a pilot episode, so we kind of get to see how the, what the setup for uh, what the show will kind of play off of here in future episodes, kind of how, you know, Commissioner Gordon already really early on in this case kind of put himself in a hole a little bit, and kind of how the Falcones have worked themselves into this crime in the city. And it's really all about Commissioner Gordon kind of learning the city, learning who knows who, and, you know, who's the good people, who are the bad people, who are the people who are going to backstab others and things like that. Uh, so that's basically what this first episode was about. Uh, so for my positives and, well, not so many negatives for this opening episode of the show, um, I really liked the use of all these Batman villains. I loved how um, even Bane had a reference at one point. It, it wasn't Bane, obviously. The, the character that they were using was not Bane in this episode. But there, there clearly was a Bane reference at one point, the way this character was dressed and acting around things and acting around the good guys and things like that. Uh, but we did get to see a young carnation of Penguin and a young carnation of Riddler, a very young Poison Ivy, a very young Catwoman. Uh, we get to see a lot of these characters in the early state of their lives, basically. We also get to see a little bit of the Falcones, who we got to know a little bit in the Christopher Nolan Batman films. Um, so just a ton of use of great Batman villains. And I really hope that, you know, by the time Batman gets to the city, as soon as Bruce Wayne is old enough to become Batman... Um, these characters are really well developed. Commissioner Gordon really knows these characters really well, had to deal with them in cases that he had to take on. So uh, they're definitely in the right direction here as far as Commissioner Gordon getting used to dealing with these villains in Gotham City.
So far, the show really does look great. It really does look like it came out of one of the Batman comic books. Uh, both Bob Kane and Frank Miller. It has a little bit of both of their angles of Batman in this. Um, I would say the cityscapes is more so Tim Burton, while like the actual shots of Commissioner Gordon, you know, running around in Gotham and chasing after these criminals is very more so along the line of the Christopher Nolan films. Kind of reminded me of when um, Commissioner Gordon, you know, when Gary Oldman used to play him, uh, went down that waterfall in the sewer, and, you know, he was chasing those criminals in the sewer and things like that in The Dark Knight Rises back in 2002, uh, or 2012, I'm sorry. Um, you know, kind of that Dark Knight Rises, Commissioner Gordon chasing after Bane in 2012 and things like that. It definitely has that kind of vibe to it. Um, so, like I said, the show looks great, and it definitely has that comic book look to it, which I really like so far. I also like how we really get to see, you know, Bruce Wayne learning from Commissioner Gordon. Um, Commissioner Gordon is definitely staying in touch with Bruce Wayne, um, even after the, you know, even after he thought the Wayne Parent murder case got closed. Uh, obviously, he's still staying in touch with Bruce, and um, I like how Bruce is really learning from Commissioner Gordon. So, I'm, one thing that'd be really intriguing to see, uh, specifically if they go a Smallville route with the show. For those who've seen Smallville, you probably know what I'm talking about with how that show concluded. Um, if they do go that route with it, I think it is kind of cool how Bruce Wayne is kind of, you know, learning all this stuff from Commissioner Gordon. So, by the time he does eventually become Batman. Uh, some of that stuff that, you know, is deep psychologically, you know, in, in, in as far as, you know, chasing after these criminals and learning how to, you know, be the good guy and not, and not be the bad guy, but still be dark and forceful and, you know, basically him becoming Batman, basically. Um, I like how, you know... He, Commissioner Gordon is kind of the mentor character for Bruce Wayne so far in this, even though Alfred very much is that character as well. So far in the show, I definitely see a little bit more of that Commissioner Gordon, and I think that's very fitting since this show is very much about Commissioner Gordon. I like how the show is going to kind of go, at least I'm hoping it goes this route, a continuous storyline route. Uh, Agents, of, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was more so, you know, individual one-hour episodes, uh, you know, obviously there's a lot of them that played off of earlier episodes and things like that. But with this one, I like how it's, you know, we'll give you an hour and then we'll give you the other hour of the story in the next episode kind of thing. I like how they're going that route with it, how it's kind of this one huge story that will be covered throughout the course of the season. I'm hoping it, it stays that direction because I think that would be really cool. Um, and the way they set things up, there is, I think, a lot of room for several more stories to come for, you know, all these further episodes. So I really hope DC and Fox keep on going this continuous storyline route because I think that'd be a really cool route rather than going the, you know, individual one-hour episodes for each individual story kind of thing. I like how, you know, Commissioner Gordon really connects with Bruce in several ways. Uh, they both lost their dad very early in their life. Um, at least in the show, that's one thing that they both have in common. And um, I, I really feel like the two of them can really connect. There was just a scene in this opening episode, this you know pilot episode, where you really got the sense that Bruce and Gordon were really connecting with each other, really understood where each other was coming from with things. Uh, you know, how they're both kind of scared of the city and they're both kind of want to help get rid of all the bad stuff that's going on in it. Um, so I definitely see the Batman side of Commissioner Gordon and this kind of the stuff he learned from Batman from the Dark Knight trilogy that will that we obviously saw later on from what the storyline's playing off of, basically. Um, so I just really like how, you know, Gordon and Bruce Wayne are kind of one and the same. I like that they have this huge connection with each other. Um, I just think it's really cool how the show is going with that theme as at the moment. So I'm hoping they go with that theme because it's pretty cool to watch. Um, I really only my only negative I had about this pilot episode was I don't think Commissioner Gordon's fighting skills with these criminals um, it doesn't seem as good as I I thought it was going to be. I don't expect him to be this professional fighter or you know professional um, you know be in the ranks of Batman in that sense, but um, I, I felt like in this episode they made him too much of a wimp. I know that he's started off as this detective slash commissioner, but I I would like to see if they want to go that route. I hope in the future episodes he just gets better and better as a fighter because at the moment he really seems really wimpy at, in those kind of scenes. So I'm really hoping that uh, we see a more t 
tough Commissioner Gordon in future episodes because I think that'd be really cool to watch. But other than that, guys, I really like this opening pilot episode. I'm already ready for episode two, to be honest. They definitely left it at a cliffhanger, so I'm already want to know more as to what has, certain things are going on and things like that. So um, hopefully Fox will show their next episode next week on Monday. And, um, you know, obviously for those who saw my channel update, uh, I will try to give you my reaction video to that as soon as I can. Hopefully I'll be able to post it the night of, but I can't guarantee anything at the moment. Uh, but other than that, guys, I will see you here hopefully for my episode two reaction, hopefully next week.